Hi there. So I thought I would make a screencast to summarize how we could draw a ray of light as it refracts through a piece of glass or some water, perhaps. So let's do it. So here's a piece of glass. Here's air out here in the white. The glass is blue. And if we have a incident light ray, perhaps from a laser, on the glass at this point right here, first thing we want to do is to draw a normal line. And I draw that typically with a dashed line. And it's important that it form a right angle with the boundary at the point where the light enters the new medium. Now some of the light will reflect away. We've seen that in this angle in here is the same as this angle in here. Or you can say that this one out here is the same as this one out here. That's the law of reflection. But we're investigating and studying refraction right now, so we're going to ignore the reflected ray for a moment. So once the light enters the glass, it will bend toward the normal. And then it reaches, it stays straight within the glass until it reaches the opposite side, in which case we're going to again draw a normal line there. And that again has to be at a right angle or perpendicular to the surface at that point. Now the light when it exits is going to bend away from the normal. In the incident, in the exiting, light rays are parallel to each other if this is just a rectangular piece of glass or water. Okay, so let's try a different shape. Here's a, a prism, a triangular prism, and we have some light incident, say, like this. Our laser comes in like this. Again, the first thing we want to do is draw a normal line, and that has to be at a right angle at that point. And some of that light will reflect away, but we're going to ignore that. Once the light is in the glass, it's going to bend toward the normal. There it is, until it reaches the boundary on the opposite side. It stays straight. And then we're going to have to draw another normal. That, again, must be 90 degrees. And then the light ray, when it exits back into air, will bend away from the normal. So it would look something like that. So this angle in here compared to this, this angle is now greater. So it bends away. So if it went straight, it would have gone like this, but it bent away from the normal. Let's try a different shape. Here's kind of a random shape. And let's pick a random light ray incident here. Draw the normal. It is 90 degrees at that position. Some of it will reflect, but we're going to ignore that, and we're going to focus on the refracted ray. So it, the refracted ray bends toward the normal. When we get to this side, we have to draw a normal now here, and that should form a right angle. And here the light ray would bend away from this normal. So if it was straight, it would go out here, so it should bend down this way, away from that normal. And that's what that would look like. Lastly, we have this object with a round or curved surface. No straight edges. It's just continually changing the curvature. This is very typical of a lens, perhaps in your eye or in a camera, or even just a drop of water. So we have just a random light ray incident here. Now the normal line here has to be perpendicular to this curved surface right at this point. It would look something like that. So right here, this would be a 90 degree angle. And then all the rest of the rules apply. So the light ray, once it goes into the glass or water, would bend toward the normal. Oh, excuse me, here's the re reflected. We'll ignore that. So here's the light bending toward the normal. And then when we get to the other side, we draw a normal again. And now here, the light ray, went straight would be here, but it's going to bend away from the normal. And there it is. So there's that's it. That's my presentation. I hope you liked it. Feel free to go back and look at it as many times as you like. Okay, bye.